Hey Defenders, welcome back to our channel. So today we are actually working on the same web application pen testing series and in this particular challenge, we are on challenge number 12. In this particular challenge, let's read the question. It says Vinod Sendhil has finally cracked the file which has the information about the location of the jewels. There is a faint sound playing in the background. Vinod Sendhil has to figure out the password from the music. So, he can find out where exactly the jewels are hidden. Wow. There is a clue if you already uh, paid attention to the question properly. Right? It says information about the location of the jewels, number one. Right? Number two, he can find out where exactly the jewels are hidden. How sweet is that, right? There are two key takeaways already there. Upon clearing this challenge, we get five points. Upon using a hint, we lose one point and there are about 30 people, uh, 30 wrong tries already made on this particular challenge, right? So <clears throat> this particular challenge I'm just downloading, there's a file called love-song.mp3. So there is a mp3 file here. So I'm just trying to play this. Okay, so we are actually playing a mp3 file, right? Let me tell you, this is a, a challenge that I carefully crafted to make sure we all understand something about meta information, right? This is the keyword, meta information. So what do you pay attention when you play sound or play music? You know, it's a mp3 file. We usually have the practice of sharing mp3 files and hearing the songs or iPad, iPod or so on, right? But the question is, what next? We have to pay a little more attention on something called the metadata or even on a music file. So this particular file or this particular challenge can be cleared in a wonderful way, right? I specifically call it a wonderful way because this file, if you copy it to a pen drive, right? And take this USB pen drive and plug it in your car's audio system, right? And play this song. Have you ever noticed most of the times when you play the MP3 files on your audio system, it will actually say what is the song name, who's the artist, and who wrote the lyrics or who's the writer and so on, right? These data are not music. These data are part of the music file, but it's not the music, right? So this data is called the metadata. Likewise, if you take a photo, right, with a mobile phone or a camera or so on, please be mindful, I click a photo using a Sony uh, camera, say, or a Canon camera. We are just seeing a JPEG file, right? That's an image. But have you ever noticed if you upload this file to Google Photos or Facebook or Instagram or LinkedIn, they are able to identify where this particular photo was clicked, the location. What device was used to click this photo? Right? Not just that. What device was used to click this photo when? What date and time was this photo clicked? Right? So where is these kind of information stored? These are not a portion of the image. right? These are not image data. These are data that are stored inside the image file but not image. Correct? This is called the metadata. So metadata can be a part of your text file video file, audio file, and any any file format. Uh, so the beautiful thing about this is you plug this USB pen drive in your car, the password for this particular challenge that you're breaking your head will write under your eyes scroll on the digital display of your car. How cool is that, right? And uh, not just that, I'll also play the same music here. And if you notice, it says elevator, the song's name is elevator, right? And the bottom it says, password is the first son of Humayun. So that is a password you have to identify from your Google or do some research and identify who is the first son of Humayun. Yeah, we all already know it is Akbar, right? 
so i just say akbar and let us see beautiful so this particular challenge actually helps us understand what is metadata right i hope you all understood something from this if you all learned something from this or if you think this is interesting and someone wants to learn this consider sharing and subscribing thank you thanks for watching don't forget to subscribe for more tech insights on cybersecurity